What I'll watch for as we come closer to trial is whether there are settlement discussions, because this seems to me one of the clearest cases I've ever seen. Uh, in defamation cases, you don't often have any kind of written documentation saying, I know we're lying, I know the people we're putting on are crazy, but that's what you have here. The discovery was unbelievably dramatic in proving that from Rupert Murdoch on down, the hosts, the anchors, and Rupert Murdoch, and the CEO, everyone knew that they were lying. With jury selection to start Thursday in the billion dollar Dominion voting defamation trial, Fox News has been sanctioned by the court for withholding key evidence. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I'm your legal analyst, Adrienne Lawrence. The judge overseeing Dominion Voting Systems' 10-figure defamation suit against Fox News said that he is sanctioning the network for hiding important evidence, and he plans to appoint an outside attorney to look into whether the new network's lawyers did so intentionally and to what extent. I am very concerned that there have been misrepresentations to the court. This is very serious. Delaware Superior Court Judge Eric Davis said Wednesday at a pretrial hearing in Wilmington. According to reports, the typically mild-mannered Delaware judge was fuming. I'm very uncomfortable right now, Davis said, after dressing down Fox's lawyers from the bench. And with the trial set to start on April 17th concerning whether Fox News defamed Dominion voting by claiming the company rigged the 2020 presidential election, this is a real bad look at a real bad time. So what did the alleged lies and withheld evidence concern? None other than the one and only Rupert Murdoch. Fox Corp had asserted since Dominion filed its lawsuit in 2021 that Rupert Murdoch had no official role at Fox News. In its filings, it had listed Fox News officers as Suzanne Scott, Jay Wallace, and Joe Durango. But on Easter Sunday, Fox disclosed to Dominion's attorneys that Murdoch also is executive chair at Fox News. The disclosure came after Superior Court Judge Eric Davis wondered aloud during a status conference last week who Fox News' officers were. With this new revelation on the eve of trial, the court will appoint a special master to investigate whether Fox's previous assertions to the court about Murdoch's role were false and misleading. How Fox described his role is important here because it impacts discovery. By suggesting that Murdoch only had a limited role, Fox only provided limited documents and information in response to Dominion's discovery request. So said another way, because it seems Fox didn't give all the facts, Dominion didn't get all the information it was supposed to get. So now the court is going to have to appoint this attorney or so-called special master to investigate whether Fox attorneys misrepresented Murdoch's role in court intentionally. And the, specific, uh, the special master will also decide to what extent the sanctions will be, whether they're going to be monetary and possibly they could end up being trial related. This is a hell of a thing, and it comes at a hell of a time, as I mentioned. Given how close we are to trial, jury selection starts Thursday, tomorrow, and the trial is set to start in a mere five days. For Dominion to just learn that it didn't get all the information it was entitled to get, that can have a significant impact on Dominion's case. I could see the court issuing a six-figure fine to Fox News and maybe even instructing the jury to presume that Fox News was intentionally hiding information that would have hurt its case. Well... That's really kind of what I expect maybe of Fox, given we know it's not known necessarily for telling the truth. I just wonder whether Fox's lawyers are willing to risk their license by hmm, not necessarily being forthright and lying to the court, because that seems foolish to me. Then again, so does misrepresenting the 2020 presidential election. But maybe that's just me. Anyway, you let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.